Hi, my name is Stephanie Miller, and this is a presentation for Winter Park Christian School's operational plan. I'd like to start with the obvious truth that everything changes, um, and organizations uh, are somewhat like individuals at that they're actually more of a living, breathing organism that changes and grows than a static, inanimate object. Um, and change, of course, can be positive or negative, and hopefully at Winter Park Christian School, we're moving in the positive direction. A little bit of background about the school is that it opened its doors in 2005. Uh, we have approximately 60 students, up to 70 students. It ranges from year to year. And we are currently in what's known as the review, renew phase of organizational development, which um, after some time in existence, uh, we're kind of looking back and figuring out how we can um, stay true to our mission and move forward as an organization. Change management, as we're, um, as the school is moving forward, it's important to understand what change management is. And according to Phillips and Gulley, there are four phases, diagnosis, unfreezing, movement, and refreezing. Currently, Winter Park Christian School has uh, completed a SWOT analysis, um, developed a strategic plan, and those are part of the diagnosis phase, uh, or it is part of the diagnosis phase. And I would say we are currently in the unfreezing phase and moving towards movement, hopefully, soon. And then when, if all goes well, then we will hope to refreeze um, and maintain that change. According to the sources that I've reviewed and my own experience, there are three major factors for success in any organizational change initiative and uh, communication is one, leadership is another, and employee engagement would be the third. I'll talk about a few ways which um, those things can play out within an organization. Employee engagement in particular, all of them are related to the other, so as we have strong capable leadership who's communicating the plan and the vision for change well. Hopefully our uh, employee base is becoming more and more engaged in the process and we're moving forward as a team. This model from Blessing and White shows the ideal. We would want um, our employees to be in the, in the triangle at the top there, labeled A, um, where maximum satisfaction is combined with maximum contribution to the organization. And so um, that's where we hope to have our employees at Winter Park Christian School. Um, another thing that we can understand is that change is difficult and uh, the a resistance to change is part of human nature and so having a plan to move forward in the face of that resistance is important. Um, Cotter has uh, his kind of now famous eight steps where he addresses those um, potential uh, items of resistance and this is an updated version of those eight steps but just running through it's important to create a sense of urgency in the organization, build a coalition, form the strategic vision, enlist a volunteer army, a willing volunteer army, enable action by removing those uh, potential barriers, generate short-term wins and communicate them, sustain acceleration, and finally actually institute the change where the, um, management and employees are working together for the same goal. One um, tool I think Winter Park Christian School can use is to turn their actually strategic plan items um, into an operational grid and take each of those tasks um, and put a time frame and assign a person responsible, uh, look at the budgetary numbers necessary to complete that task and then list any other resources that might be needed and I've created one of those um, grids for each um, of the tasks that we'll need moving forward. 
And finally, from a Christian perspective, I think that change management is supported all throughout Scripture in so many ways. Um, the only exception to that would be, obviously, the immutable nature of God himself. He does not change um, and is eternal and uh, the same yesterday, today, and forever. But as created beings, we do change, and um, that's kind of the heart of the gospel, is repentance and change. And um, I've listed a few verses there that uh, demonstrate that. Establishing a plan, a plan in the face of this change is important as well. We're called to be good stewards, and um, while we let God lead and guide in his sovereign wisdom, we also are called to uh, be good stewards of the time that he's given us. Communicating what our plan is to those who follow um, and that are walking alongside us is important to be an ethical and respectful in that communication and winsome as well. Um, it's like communicating the gospel. We want to do so with love and grace as well as truth. Which leads to strong, humble, godly leadership. Um, as we move forward, we always want to consider others as more important than ourselves and um, actually love people in the process of leading them. And then collaborating together to move towards that goal is um, demonstrated throughout Scripture. Nehemiah as he built the wall and obviously the disciples as they move forward sharing the gospel. Um, and then what we're called to as a church are uh, excellent examples of how to collaborate well. Here are my resources or references that I used and hopefully you enjoy the paper. <laughs>